Hey Scorpio Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you so much for joining me. Happy Friday to you all. Let's see what they wish they could tell you. I understand this might be triggering, might not be. We'll just have to see what comes out. Y'all know to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Flip the rolls if you need to. So let's see. Ten cards. I pray to run into you when I'm out and about. That would really make my day. So this is somebody from your past that's wanting to run into you. My BS has finally caught up to me. Okay. I love hanging. Oh, I said I love hanging. I love having my ego stroked. Mm. So when you refuse or stop doing it, I retreated and went elsewhere. Okay, so their BS caught up to them. They're going to do an ego death. They got humbled. I'm fighting so many battles I haven't told you about. Hmm. I am struggling with my mental health. Wow. This could be an air sign. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have, I am an escape artist. My trust issues really get the best of me sometimes. Definitely Aquarius energy. I'm looking at your pictures now and reminiscing about the good times. Somebody's kicking themselves here. I use or used sex to control you and our connection. They love having their ego stroke. And when that stopped working, like when the sex stopped being enough to keep you and you pulled away and stopped doing it, maybe stopped even engaging with them, they took that as a slight and their ego got bruised. Mm -mm. I don't want to have to share you with anyone else. Well, how are you going to tell somebody that? I hurt you before you could hurt me. Yeah, definitely struggling with mental health because that's insane. I still pleasure myself to your pictures or videos. <laughs> Says they're looking at your pictures now and reminiscing about the good times. What do I want to call your uh, reading? Because it just came to me. Dang, I lost it that quick. Hold on. Yeah, so this is somebody that you have humbled. You have crushed their ego. Okay, show me why they're planning. To, I'm praying to run into you. What they want. Eight of Cups. That's what they want? Did this person walk away from you? It could be a Pisces. I sometimes see this as ungrateful. This is like giving up on a relationship before because all the cups are standing, which means you got eight very full, you know, useful cups here, but this person is walking away because they're looking for that two of cups. They thought the grass was greener somewhere else. They walked away. So now they're feeling stupid and they want to run into you. Man, could be eight months ago. Show me my BS has finally caught up to me. I'm telling you, they regret it now. Look at this. These other options didn't check out. It really fell in reverse. I'm going to take it in reverse because this is a wake-up call, a reality check. Scorpio energy. So it could be another Scorpio. Nobody else compared to you. All their other options didn't check out. Their supply, it dried up. Yeah, it dried up. So all these other options they thought they had turned out not to be options at all. So I have, um, so we have, I love having my ego stroke. And when you refuse or stop doing it, I retreated and went elsewhere. Yep, eight of cups, they did. Or maybe somebody else can do it since Scorpio won't do it. King of swords. Could be an Aquarius. This person is cold. They come across as cold and detached. They come across as emotionally unavailable. And this is probably why you stop, but they're so stubborn and they're so stuck in their ways, stoic, serious, and nonchalant and flippant that, yeah, this is kind of like unbothered. I'm unbothered, so I'm just going to move on with my life. Or this is what you gave them. You gave unbothered. Some of you could be on a Libra Scorpio cusp. Or that person is an air sign that you're dealing with, so they stopped caring or stopped acting like they cared. What are these battles that they're fighting? The Two of Cups? Okay, why would that be a battle? Cancer energy. I have to get one more for that. Because they, be, they could be in another relationship. If they are, it's something that they're thinking about leaving. They still feel like there's more out there for them. They always feel like, what else is out there for me? Even Now look, they walked away. The Eight of Cups is when you walk away to find the Two of Cups. They could have married somebody else. And now they're turning their back on that. Like, what's wrong with this person? 
because this is essentially why you walk away in this card is to find the two, the two missing cups so that you have a complete 10. But they're still looking. This is what else is out there for me. Broadening your horizons, thinking outside the box. Hmm, I wonder if somebody that lives in that part of town could make me happier or that part of the world. Mm -mm. So they're in another relationship and they don't want to be in it. So they regret whoever this person is they chose. Could be an Aries or Cancer. So why are they struggling with their mental health? The Six of Swords. They want to leave a trauma bond. There's something they want to run away from. They want to escape this marriage. It's not what they thought it was. Like I said, these other options didn't turn out to be what they thought they were going to be. Show me I'm an escape artist. And that's crazy because what comes after this card here is the escape artist. The Seven of Swords, Aquarius Energy. Trust issues. They don't trust anybody. Because they don't trust themselves. Look at this. Emotional. Emotional health. Grief. Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with a Libra, Scorpio, Cusper. So this person, you see how they're always looking out for what's next. They're always looking out there. Somewhere out there, you know, is my person. Somewhere out there is my happiness. When no, your happiness should be with yourself. Look at this. I told y'all they married somebody and they regretted it. Aries, Gemini energy. And now they're trying to figure something out here. Oh, Lord, help me. Okay, so what is I'm looking at your pictures and reminiscing? Six of Cups energy. Knight of Cups. Wanting to come back your way. Follow their heart back to you, Pisces. They, this is a Pisces. They still have feelings for you. <laughs> Show me I use sex to control you and our connection. So they could be very good and bad. I don't know, y'all. King of Pentacles. Taurus energy. They could be very generous too. They could be very financially stable. This could have been a transactional relationship and no judgment. I mean, that's y'all thing. That's y'all thing. I don't have nothing to say about it. But it could have been a situation where somebody gave you a lot of money, bought you a lot of gifts. So it cups can be gift giving. And I do feel like this person is giving me somebody that could probably pull people very easily. But then when they get them, they don't necessarily hold on to them. They're always looking for the next best thing. King of Pentacles is a stable partner, somebody you, that you can trust but it says i use sex to control you and our connection he's also very generous so on this on the shadow side of this card which actually did fall in reverse i flipped it in the upright because something told me to but maybe i should have left it this way that's a transactional relationship it's greed it's coercion it's it's bribery it's like they could have used the sex as you know the bribe that's how they extorted your energy they siphoned your energy through sex they feel like they could be very financially stable. They're coming out as kings, which lets me know this person probably is 40 plus years old, very financially stable. They could be a boss. They could be very well established. They could even be an authority figure, law enforcement, government, politics, you name it. Very smart too. So the mind games are probably real severe with them. But this King of Pentacles feels to me like money and sex was used to control the dynamic of the relationship. I don't want to share you with anyone else. It's the Four of Swords. Libra energy. So I feel like, Scorpio, some of you are very accommodating to this person. Four of Swords is the person that doesn't really like confrontation. They try to avoid drama and confrontation because they just want their peace and quiet. They, they don't want to argue with nobody. This is feeling overwhelmed as well. So they could be thinking a lot about you and feeling overwhelmed because they know that you're seeing other people. But that's not their business. I hurt you before you can hurt me. So this is petty. This is what I'm saying, the mind games. King of Wands. So they look good. Remember I said a few minutes ago they might look good. Leo, it could be a Leo. Leo energy. Big ego is what I'm getting here. This person has a big ego. It might have said something about their ego somewhere. I think I, well, that's the name of your video. You humble this person, like you, you crush their ego. Okay, so I still pleasure myself to your videos and pictures. It's the Seven of Pentacles, the Judgment card. They're doing a lot of second guessing, second thoughts, 
second thinking rather about how things went with you. Scorpio, Taurus, your sister sign. Then we have Leo here. It's, it's hard for them to hold back from you. They feel like they ended things prematurely with you. Because this is like snap decisions, knee-jerk reactions, right? And remember, said over here that they retreated and went elsewhere. Now they have a second thoughts about that. They feel like you don't want them anymore, though. The strength card is like holding back. They feel like you're sexy, single, free, living your life, and you don't need them. Yep, they feel like you've moved on. And you don't want anything to do with them. You may have them blocked. But they want to come back. Could be a Gemini. This person wants to come back. They're still holding on to your energy. They still care in their own little weird way. Okay, y'all. Like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That is what they wish they could tell you. Oh. Um, Leave me a comment. Did I say that? Leave me a comment if you so choose. I like to engage with you all. Get to know y'all. I don't have a lot of Scorpio videos because you all just don't. My, my channel is not comprised of a lot of Scorpios, I guess. Well, y'all just don't watch. I don't know. But that's why I don't post very often for certain signs. I, I do the most engaging signs. So hopefully that makes sense. And hopefully y'all start to engage more so I can do Scorpio more. Because Scorpio is my North Node sign. So I want to do Scorpio reading. So I can't really get a rapport. Like I really have a rapport with my people that I post often. I kind of know what's going on in their lives because I do their reading so often. I feel a little bit off sometimes with... um. The other signs because I don't really get to like create that rapport and I want to because I don't want to eliminate any signs on the channel though I have thought about doing that I just can't because that's not how I started my channel and that's not fair to the people who have subscribed over the years almost two years I've been doing this oh my god it's almost my two-year anniversary so yeah I'm trying to get my, my my following in the Scorpio collective Capricorn Virgo Pisces Sagittarius who else a couple of y'all be hard to hard to get here. Capricorn. I think that's it. Aquarius. Gemini. So I'm going to start incorporating more readings for y'all. But just I can't do it on a daily basis like I do the other signs. Because it just doesn't. It actually hurts the channel. As I explained to I believe Capricorn. When you all don't watch. YouTube sees that as a video that's not doing well. It suppresses me in the algorithm. It's a mess. And so it's not personal. It's just business. But I just want to make that aware to you all. And maybe some people won't want to hear that. But I'm just an honest person. So it is what it is. Um, like the video. Subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.